So, Ken and Richard, thank you so much for being with us here today. We're so excited to have you. Thanks, it's a pleasure. So since you guys are known for being pretty smart, with, you know, Richard being a mathematician and creator of Magic the Gathering and Ken being the highest earning American game show contestant of all time, both of you are trivia buffs and you even developed your own trivia game called Half Truth, which we'll talk about more in just a bit. But given all of this, we are going to put your knowledge to the test. So we have 100 random trivia questions on many different subjects, and we're gonna see if you can get them all correct in just 10 minutes. So if you don't know the answer, you can always pass and move on to the next question. You can also both work together and we'll be timing you. So once the 10 minutes are up, we'll let you guys know how you did. Okay. That's pretty right. fast. That's, uh, you know, you only get a few seconds per question. And in three, two, one. What was the first Marvel movie released from Marvel Studios? Iron Man. What year was the crossword first published in New York World? 1921, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, It was like 1913. Oh. Oh. What, what, what was the first movie to be rated PG-13? Red Dawn. What was the name of the first animal in space? Laika. What year was the first Scrabble World Championship held? Do you know this? I don't know this. I do not know this. What is another name for the symbol many people know as the hashtag or pound symbol? Octothorpe. The original Star Trek series started airing in 1966 on what American television network? NBC. Which 18-year-old artist won the Grammy Award for the Best New Artist in 2020? Billie Eilish? I don't know. Which bay is located in the north of Spain? Bay of Biscay? The Pope is guarded by soldiers from what country? Switzerland. Switzerland. Uh, which environmental activist born in 2003 has been nominated for two Nobel Peace Prizes and is the youngest time person of the year? Greta Thunberg. What trading card game joined Matchbox Cars and Coloring Book and in being inducted in the Toy Hall, Hall, Hall of Fame in 2019? I Magic assume, Richard. Magic the Gathering. Yeah. In what year was Magic the Gathering first introduced? 1993. Who is the voice of Yoda for episodes 1, 3, and 5, 9, who also served as Yoda's lead puppeteer? Frank Oz. What year was rugby invented? No idea. Yeah, no idea. Who was the first person to go into space? Yuri Gagarin. What is the chemical formula for iactic acid? No idea. It's long. It's kind of long, I think. What are the names of the two people who created Google? Page and Brim. Uh, who is the designer of the multiplayer board game Catan? Klaus uh, Teuber. Oh, uh, yeah. What metal remains liquid at room temperature? Mercury. How many Oscars did Walt Disney win? No idea. Past this. 40-something. Who invented the cotton gin? Eli Whitney. Mycophobia is the fear of what? Mushrooms. Who reveals the man behind the curtain in The Wizard of Oz? Toto. What actor provided the voice for Sideshow Bob on TV show The Simpsons? Kelsey Grammer. Zymology, also known as Zymergy, is the study of what? I don't know this. What position did Babe Ruth play when he first joined the Boston Red Sox in 1914? Pitcher. Catcher, first base, second base, third base, short. Okay. <laughs> a typical octopus has how many hearts? Three. Who are the two creators of the American fantasy TV drama, drama Game of Thrones? Uh, Benioff and, uh, do you know this, Richard? Uh, I, I know the, the Starts author. Starts with B, right? Starts with B, right? Mm. I think we're up to pass. What is the name of the book on which Game of Thrones is based, written by George R.R. R. Martin? The series is Song of Ice and Fire. What NFL team did the Denver Broncos beat in their second consecutive Super Bowl in 1999? <sighs> I don't know, Cowboys? What is the most abundant metal in the Earth's crust? Aluminum, iron, nickel? Aluminum. What musical family, two oldest brothers, Viral and Tom, were born with hearing impairments? The Osmonds. Who was the second person to set foot on the moon? Buzz Aldrin. What is the world's most venomous fish? Your mom. Bird! I, uh, I've <laughs> What city was ho to host the first official association football game in 1863? Uh, London, Manchester, Leeds. London, got it. Ooh, London. What consumer electronics and video game company was founded in 1889 and originally produced playing cards? Nintendo. In Greek mythology, Hera was the goddess of what? Marriage. Wis wisdom? I will accept marriage. Upon the long river or place of long tidal rivers is the English translation of the name of what U.S. state? Mississippi? Um, uh, it's not yeah, Mississippi? Inc incorrect. Uh, it is Connecticut. What is the best-selling board game of all time? Monopoly? Scrabble? Monopoly? Close? Mm -hmm. No. Ah, mm -mm. uh, that's bull. What is the longest running American cartoon of all time? Maybe Simpsons? Simpsons. In 1983, a Metallica released their first studio album. What was it called? 
shoot. Metallica? So Metallica? No, of course. Oh. Ah, shit. <laughs> in the culinary world, what does a moosh bouche uh, literally translate to in English? Amuse the mouth? It's an appetizer. I will, I will accept yeah, yeah. amuse the mouth. I will accept. In what country were the 1900 Olympic Games held? Mm, in France? Is that right? U.S.? France is correct. Very good. What legendary pirate helped defeat New Orleans during the War of 1812? John Lafitte. Who holds the current record for the most Grammy Awards won in, with 31 awards? I don't know this. Uh, Billy Joel, Elton John. Wow. What classic novel subtitle is the modern uh, Prometheus? Frankenstein. Frankenstein. In what year did Michelangelo finish painting the Sistine Chapel? Fast, 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 fast. 1642. <laughs> right. so close. Uh, what famous actress secretly put on ballet show to help raise the money for the Dutch resistance in the 1940s? Yeah, Audrey Hepburn? What, which Broadway musical written by Lin-Manuel Miranda won the Tony Award for Best Musical in 2016? Hamilton. In the Heights, Hamilton. How many gold medals does Mi Michael Phelps have? 12, 13, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. <laughs> What is the largest inland body of water in the world? Caspian Sea. What are the names of the six main characters in the show Friends? Jerry Chandler, Ross, Phoebe, Monica, and Rachel. What is Johnny Appleseed's real name? John Chapman. Who was the youngest woman to become first lady? Ruth, oh no, no, Ruth uh, Cleveland. Ruth is Cleveland. Oh, wow. Her, her what mom. is the first stage of mitosis, the process of cell splitting? Telophase. Incorrect. Oh, oh shoot, <laughs> telophase is last. Besides Isaac Newton, this person was also credited with inventing calculus in the mid 17th, 17th century. Leibniz. What year was NASCAR founded? Uh, pass, do you want to pass it? Sure. What Chicago Bears running back was formerly was known as the Galloping Ghost? Red Grange. What coach came off the bench to play for his team in the Stanley Cup Finals? I don't know. In three of the Oscars won by the film Titanic. Best film, best director, best uh, original screenplay, best score, best songs. What is the national am animal of Scotland? Should we know this? We should know, know this, right? Walk in Spice. Incorrect. Uh, the unicorn. <laughs> no, I wouldn't have gotten that. What does M and M stand for? Stand for? I don't know. Mars. Mars. And... Yeah, Mars and Murray. I didn't know the Murray. What's the world's largest living organism? The oh, fungus. Is that the coral. Coral. I think it's a giant. Uh, the giant. I'll I'll accept the giant fungus. What are the only two states that don't recognize daylight savings time? Arizona and Hawaii. Standing five foot three, who is the shortest NBA player? Bugsy Bogues. Which American president is also in the Wrestling Hall of Fame? Lincoln. What country has the longest coastline in the world? Norway. Incorrect. Russia. Yeah. Oh, Canada. That makes more sense. What film was Quentin Tarantino's directorial debut? Reservoir Dogs. Whose face is on the original dollar bill prior to George Washington? No guess. Columbia. Hmm. Lincoln. Seven uh, Yikes. Under what pseudonym did Charlotte Bronte publish her book, Jane Eyre? Kerbel. What is the name of the female character that has a crush on Sonic the Hedgehog? Knuckles? Is that right? I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Uh, Amy Rose is the correct answer. Who was the first woman to win an Academy Award, a Grammy Award, a BAFTA Award, and Go Golden Globe all in the same year, 2019? Lady Gaga? What city did Beethoven, was Beethoven buried after his death? Bonn? No, that's not right. I don't know this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shoot. Which right, Renaissance 30... artist was apparently strong enough to bend an iron horseshoe with his bare hands? Leonardo, Michelangelo, Don Leonardo. Carlo. Leonardo, good. Alfred Nobel, father of the Nobel Peace Prize, made his fortune with the invention of which powerful tool? Dynamite. Dynamite. Uh, which North American stew is also the name of the dish that is cooked in? North African stew. I, uh, mm, I should know this. I don't know this. Oh, too bad. Thirty which seconds. Which form of entertainment was deemed th free speech after 2011 Supreme Court case Brown versus Entertainment Merchants Association? I don't know. Uh, YouTube videos, oh. uh, porn. Video oh. Games. oh, I could have. Yeah, yeah. Which uh, football coach of the Fighting Irish was Joe Montana's roommate at Notre Dame? And Lou no. Holtz. That's not right. Lou Holtz. Is that right? No. It's going to be the current coach, Charlie Wise. Mm -hmm. Which online real retail giant's first URL was relentless.com? Amazon. Which plant does Gilroy, uh, California celebrate every summer during a three day festival? Garlic. Garlic. Garlic is correct, and that is time. Oh, so close. Uh, 
what were we at? 80 something? Well, That's a real marathon. Much. That makes Jeopardy seem like a walk in the park. I'll tell you that. 16 Man. away. I feel like if we weren't trying to get them right. We could have done so much better. If we had just guessed, um, you know, WrestleMania for every single answer, then we would have done amazingly. I mean, we, would, we wouldn't have got any right, but we would have got through all 100. Ken did all the work. Uh, uh, I was just reading, so. so. <laughs> Having to read the questions makes it hard. Can you imagine a version of Jeopardy where Trebek is just up there like smoking a cigarette and the players have to read the question and then answer? It would be a lot harder. Well, you guys both did pretty darn well on this game, but that's because you guys both know a lot about trivia and games, like the one that you made, Half Truth. You want to tell us a little bit about it? Here's a picture of it. Half Truth is a, is a trivia game that I made after reading uh, Brainiac, which is a, a fine book that uh, Ken wrote. Uh, and in that book, he really uh, conveyed his uh, love of trivia to me. And I wanted to make a game which uh, really brought out the positive characteristics he talked about. It was very flattering when I got the phone call. It's, or the, I guess it was an email at first. Hi, this is Richard Garfield. I'm the greatest game mind of my generation. He didn't say that, but this is what I'm thinking. And I liked your book so much, it made me invent a trivia game. Like it, it was the most exciting email I've ever gotten. I think too often people walk away from trivia games just remembering how dumb they felt. Like they didn't know an answer or they finally knew one and it was the other player's turn. So Richard worked pretty hard to make sure this is a game that you walk, that anybody can play and you can walk away from it feeling smart. So finally, since you both know a lot about games and trivia, what is one trivia fact that you think everyone should know? I think it's really important to know that koala fingerprints are indistinguishable from human ones. This is, this is very important if you're a koala criminal, obviously, or <laughs> if you're a human criminal looking to pin some of your crimes on a koala. Tarot cards were originally for playing games with, not for telling fortunes. Hmm. What if in the future people start telling fortunes with half-truth cards, Richard? That would be pretty cool. Yeah, then yeah, that'd be very uh, meta then. This is Richard Garfield. Thanks so much to FB for having us. And this is Ken Jennings. Please check out Richard's and my new game, Half Proof, wherever finer games are sold. Bye. <laughs>